So I've been a full-time photographer who shoots pretty much exclusively film for a couple years now. And I wanted to share what my favorite film stocks are, not only for client work, big budget clients on fresh shoots, single covers, album covers, but also what my favorite stocks are for personal work in the studio, out and about in a point and shoot. It's 2024 and here are my favorite film stocks. By the way, this is just my favorite films right now. There's no one to 10, just my favorites. Let's start it off and let's get this film out of the way, Portra 400. If you're not super well versed in film or film photography, Portra 400 is a 400 speed daylight balanced film by Kodak. It's one of the most iconic films of the last couple decades and it is, uh, it's good for it. It's, it's incredibly reliable. It's got very fine grain, whether you're shooting 35 or 120. And the colors of this film always hit, regardless of the situation. If you're not quite sure what film to shoot for a project, Portra 400 is a surefire way to get back some results that you really love. I've shot a ton of Portra 400 out in nature, but I've also shot it in the studio and with artificial lighting. One of my favorite things about Portra is how versatile it is. It's so lenient and I've pushed it all the way to 1600 for some projects and shot it as if it was a 1600 film. And it's still held up there. It still looked beautiful there. So Portra 400, we got it out of the way. It's a great film all around in 35 millimeter or 120. Um, try it out if you've never tried it before and if you don't wanna, cool. Whatever, whatever you wanna do. Here are my favorite images shot on Portra 400. Now, next up, I wanna tell you guys about a film that I think is potentially flying under the radar a little bit. Not like super under the radar, but it's not like as popular as Portra, but I think it should be, is Lomo Color Negative 800. I think I've pretty much only shot this in 120, but this film, it's 800 speed, it's daylight balanced, so it's good to shoot during the day or in lower light situations like nighttime or in a studio. I shoot with this film a lot in the studio and I've gotten such vibrant, rich, gorgeous, sharp images. I love this film. You can get it in 120 or 35. I personally haven't shot any of it in 35, I don't think. Um, beautiful though. Here are some of my favorite images shot on Lomo Color Negative 800. Next up, another 800 speed film. It's amazing in 35 and in 120, Cinestill 800T. I've pretty much shot Cinestill 800T in every single situation you could possibly imagine. Even though it's a tungsten balance film, which means it's amazing for artificial light and studio work. I've shot it out in broad daylight a ton. It looks great without an 85B warming filter or any sort of warming filter, just scanning it warm or warming it up in post. It looks amazing. I've shot it at night. It looks great, especially if you've got a nice white light to like pin light your model with if you're shooting with a model. It looks amazing. I've shot it a ton in the studio. 
I'm talking single covers for one of my favorite artists, Khalid. I shot one of my best friends, Nance, for his album release, Every Daydream. We shot a bunch of promo images in the studio with these pink and blue lights and these clouds hanging all around. And in 35, it looks beautiful. And also in 120, this scene looks gorgeous on Sinistel 800T. This is just like a good all around versatile film. Yeah, here are some of my favorite images shot on Sinistel 800T. Next up, we've got Portra 800, another reliable Portra film. This time it's 800 speed. The grain is still fine. It's very fine. I hold this in the same regard that I hold Portra 400. If you're gonna put it in a point and shoot, nice. If you're gonna put it in a fully manual medium format camera, beautiful. If you're gonna shoot it in the studio, amazing. This is just a good all around daylight balanced 800 speed film. You can't go wrong with Portra, whether it's 160, 400, or 800. Here are some of my favorite images shot on Portra 800. Next up, Sinistil BWXX. I've tried quite a few different black and white films, but Sinistil BWXX is a variable speed, 200 to 800 speed film. I shoot it pretty much exclusively in the studio. I like a black and white film that has like a lot of contrast and very deep blacks. And I think Sinistil BWXX is my favorite for that reason. Almost all of my studio work shot on it is pushed to stop. It just looks beautiful on 120. Here are my favorite studio images shot on Sinistil BWXX. And now a pretty recent film, it's in a still 400D. Um, this is just another great daylight balanced 400 speed film. If you're looking to switch it up on occasion from your typical portrait use or something, picking up a roll of this in either 120 or 35 is not a bad idea. I've been having a lot of fun shooting on this film over the past couple years, and I've been surprised at its versatility, not only in the studio, but also with flash photography and out in broad daylight outside. I think something that's pretty common with all of my favorite films is that they're versatile. I don't want to shoot a film that I can't feel like I can finish the roll off at any time of day. Enjoy these images. These are my favorite images shot on Cinestill 400D.
And those are my favorite film stocks. I will be shooting all of 2024. I'll be back next week for another video where I'll be out shooting. I'll be out taking photos. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys next week. Oh God.